Good morning, everybody. It's Pam from Nana's Crafting Cottage, back with you again. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Welcome. I am so happy to have you here, and welcome back to all my current subscribers. Today, I am going to start getting my papers ready to go into my train journal, um, and that will be the last step. And then next week, I will be doing a flip through on it. I am doing some other things off camera, but I wanted to come along and kind of show you what I'm going to do to some of the pages for it. I have them all picked out here, kind of stacked up, and um, yeah, so let's get started. Um, I found some scraps, I hang on to scraps like most of us do, of Tim Holtz papers here, and they're two-sided. And this one doesn't belong in there. It has butterflies on it. <laughs> this is too narrow. Um, so I thought I would take what I could use, um, you know, however size they are, and put some onto the edging of my papers. Uh, I know that Natasha at Treasure Books does something like this with various things. I also want to try and do some uh, digital tick digital ugh, digital train tickets. <laughs> Sorry about that. That I have, I will distress them up and kind of you know put them accordingly, and then I will be stitching on the edges of these too. But for right now, with you guys, I want to get some laid down, and then I'll go from there after that. So, let's get going. And it's early in the morning. <clears throat> Pardon me. Um, haven't gotten completely dressed. I'm still in my house coat. Yep. <laughs> and my husband is asleep. So, I thought I would go ahead and get this video made for tomorrow. This is Friday. And, um, yeah. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue down to just kind of hold it until I get it stitched. So I'll just do a little bit here and there. And at first I thought I would use um, some edging punches on this, but then I decided against it because it's more of a um, it's not a flowery type journal. Let's put it that way. <laughs> so in the um, punches that I have are more, you know, for uh, more decorative flowery type journals. So I thought I would do something like this on the pages. And I'm not going to do it on all of the pages, just some of them here and there. <clears throat> and then this one I'll do on the other side. So I have some Tim Holtz paper here. Um, actually, I'm going to distress this one. The other one is coffee dyed, so I wasn't too worried about it. But I'm going to go ahead and put some ink on this type of paper. I hope you guys are having a good day starting up your weekend when this comes out. Like I said, this is Friday <clears throat> that I'm getting this recorded. And it's been quite the weather the last few days, especially. Um, it has been very windy and rainy and chilly and, yep, hail the other day. And I think I mentioned that in my last video. Yep, so it's... Yeah, it's been a ride. It's been quite the ride. 
but that's spring. It doesn't really know what it wants to do yet. Um, but we're supposed to have some more sunny weather coming up this weekend, so hopefully that will hold true. Okay. I have all my little scraps over here in a pile from this project. And let's see. I'll go ahead and do this. So yeah, we're <clears throat> pardon me, I got a frog in my throat this morning. Sheesh. Um we're nearing the end of this project. <clears throat> and like I said, I'll be doing a flip through next week. And then hopefully it will be heading out the door. We will see. Um, I want to take some detailed pictures and share those. Okay, so let's do it on this side. And like I said, I'm just putting a little bit of ink on here, or ink, well that too, but glue <laughs> on here just to hold it so I can stitch it down the middle. And yeah, so I'll do that off camera though. I wouldn't bore you guys with that plus my... Um, sewing machine is in the other room so that kind of okay so here's that and that okay um i have some eco dyed paper but i don't want to cover that up so I'll do it on a couple of these pages. And this is paper that I had gotten from Amazon. It's just vintage. I think if you just search it vintage uh, paper, you'll have all kinds come up. But this came up and it is two-sided, which is wonderful. And I'm just putting on the Distress Oxide Scorched Timber for the edging and for most of the other distressing in my journal. And I'm calling it a journal. It's not a traditional one. Um, it has different flaps and pockets and such. So it's not the traditional kind. I'm going to go ahead and put some on here because this is where I had to size the paper. The other side here. I had to cut my pages down to the size of my cover. And then the next journal I'm going to start on will be off camera, but I will share when it's done. Um, it's going to be a garden story, and it's going to be from the papers from um, Angela Kerr and Rachel and Bella Crafts, or yeah, Angela Kerr Designs and Rachel and Bella Crafts, I believe it is. So anyway, yeah, I'm excited to get that started. I'm kind of get thing, getting things um, fussy and kiss cut and um, ready, and then I'll be printing out the pages but I want to do it like Angela Kerr did she always has such a 
beautiful way of doing her journals and so I wanted to follow along with her as far as what pages she's doing with what you know front and back so yeah so I'll be doing that next <clears throat> but then I do have projects for my videos I have one lined up for after this is done <clears throat> and that will be next week that but yeah it'll it'll be some it'll be another Pinterest inspired project I was trying to think of what to do after this is done because I've been putting all my energy into it yeah and uh my sister reminded me, well, didn't you want to do this one? And I was like, oh, yes, that's what I wanted to do. So I'll be doing that the next video. And a flip through of this journal won't be until later in the week because I'm waiting for something to come from Etsy that I want to include and yeah so that should be here hopefully the end of next week so hopefully that runs true and then I can do my flip through the end of next week okay we got that one and then I also have some uh, packaging paper that I found in my stash that I had colored with Distress inks, Distress Oxide inks. And with uh, inks and uh, gold, I think it's watercolor that I splattered. And then these are... Um, ledger pieces that were you know it's where I had to <clears throat> cut for another project and so these will be included they'll be in this way and I'll be decorating a couple bags and I'll be opening this up and that I will do off camera because you've seen that kind of thing before and let's see um, I also have some coffee dyed paper from Pink Willow I believe it is Pink Willow I'll have to look and see and then uh, I'll try and find it and then link it below off Etsy I love this and it smells so good <laughs> This is definitely Pink Willow, or Tall tall um, Cactus. This is Tall Cactus because it's eco-dyed papers. Isn't that neat? And it's really pretty in person. And then there's this one. Yeah, I love these. So that will be one in each. Uh, there's going to be two signatures. And then here is a vintage ledger piece that was hooked together, and I thought, perfect. So I folded it in and made this into a, it'll be into a pocket. And same on the other side, it'll be made into a pocket. And then sewn in here. And then this one will go in the other signature, and this will be made into a side tuck, a small pocket here, because I'll be stitching it. And then a shallow pocket here on each side, and then the same on the other side, stitched here and here. Yeah, so that will go in the other signature. I have some vintage braille 
paper. And I have another uh, ledger that will go in one of them. This will be stitched in here, pocket here, here, and here, and folded up. And then can be written on or what have you inside. And then these are um, papers that you use in a restaurant to put your fries and stuff on. So one of each will go into the into each signature. So I got all those. Now I want to see what else I want to do on these pages. These I'm just going to leave. I'm not going to um, do anything, you know, any stitching or anything on them. Let's see, what else do I want to let's see? How about if I just divide them up here? This one, this one. Okay, and then I'll put them in the order that I want to. Eco died. Coffee died. Bag in each. Keeps them each. One in each. Let's see. How many of those do I have in here? I have two. Two. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put that there. Here. 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 And here. Okay, so I, I think they're pretty even as far as pieces. So these will be my two signatures. So let me get them together and then I'll continue with the edgings. I know I'm kind of all over the place this morning. I'm just trying to get it just so. So what do I want to open it up to? I like to open it up to something really neat. So I think I'll open it up with this. So that'll be that first page. Isn't that pretty? I just love how she does her eco dyeing. And then here. And then I think I will do. Um, this and I may have to trim here and there but I kind of doubt it I tried to make it so that I had some room in the journal so it doesn't stick out too much okay and we'll go ahead with this one all right oh come on and this And then I'll go with this one. And I'll probably be switching it around um, here and there. Go ahead and put this paper in there. Okay. <clears throat> and then let's put a bag in, and I will be decorating the bag. Um, let's put that in. I'm trying to put as many papers in here as I can. Um, let's see, let's put this guy in there. Okay, yeah, he won't, he won't impede the uh, stitching there. That's what I wanted to make sure of. Here. And this one, 
And I didn't want to put anything real vintage on the center because I was afraid it was going to um, tear. Now let me grab my journal, which is sitting here right in front of me, right here. And what I'll be doing is I will be um, putting this elastic here and here, having it tie in here. And that way, whoever gets this journal can add and remove pages, switch them around however they want to do. So I thought that would be kind of fun to, to you know, you know, let them be able to, to do that. So that's where that will go. Okay, so this one, I just want to kind of measure here. I may need to take some off at the top and the bottom. I thought of that this morning because I was thinking about this overhang here and where the elastic will be coming through. It'll be tearing into it. So I need to have it brought in just a little, shortened just a little bit more. So, okay, I'll do that. But I think this way it's going to fit just fine. Yep. Okay. But I will, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and mark that with my pencil. <clears throat> and then I will measure it and put it in the center of those holes. Okay. Yeah. So here and here. I will cut off here and then that way it'll be up to snuff and I'll do the same to this one. So on this one, what do I want to open it with or start it with? I think I'll start it with this coffee dye. I just love this coffee dye and it smells so yummy. So whoever gets this journal, you're going to love the smell. <laughs> oh, that sounds kind of funny, I know, but. <laughs> okay, come on. Okay, that. And then, let's see, I'll do this one. And then this, and there's no rhyme or reason to the order I'm putting these in. Um, I'm just doing it. <laughs> and here, and at least I don't have to worry about you know, where I'm going to put the holes, um, you know, for regular stitching uh, signatures in because there are no holes that I will have to punch. It's just the elastic. So that's what makes it nice, too. So I can put these however I want, just not specifically top, bottom, or middle like you would normally do. Okay, I'm going to do and this, let's see, now I'm going to do this, contrast the color there, okay, and then I'm going to do this one, and this one has an edge on it already, right there, and like I said, I'm not putting edging on all of them, I'm just, um, Doing it here and there, here, okay, and then this one, and this one, and this one, okay. Yep, so that should 
be narrow enough too. So when I get them both put in here, they're going to be a chunky monkey by the time I'm done. But two signatures are perfect in there. So they will go like that. Yeah. And then, of course, I'll have a closure on the outside. But I'm not going to show that until I do the flip through. Yep. And I'm going to mark these pages the same as that one. And that one. Okay. So, got that figured out. And I will put the elastic in when I put my signatures in. So I have it nice and snug. But yeah, I've been working working in here, adding things here and there and gluing things down. I did a bunch of stamping, as you can see, around these edges here. I glued this down. I made these... Um, schedules and I put some leather on there stitched around them yep yes and added these dangles here just as an added added bonus so yeah I've been working in it okay plus we have our conductor guy and I do want to put a piece when I get it next week right here so he'll be included in there as well. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is continue with some edgings. So let me take this signature. I'm getting so excited to have this done and to show it off. I just, <laughs> I'm really thrilled. I am so thrilled to have it done. Okay, let's see. Let's go ahead and do this page and uh -huh. yes, map. Oh, that is so cool. That is so cool. And this is all scraps of Tim Holtz paper. Cardstock or not cardstock, but you know, scrapbook type pad. It's the big ones, and he doesn't apparently make those anymore. So I'm very happy and blessed to have what I have of that. Okay. Oh, I didn't distress it. Well, I'll get it done. I'll get it done. I'm just too excited to get this thing going and finished. Okay, here. Wrap. Okay. So I thought I'd just bring you along with me so that I can work a little bit on this. I'm going to take this out. So you can kind of see what I'm doing on it. Just for the heck of it. Okay, let me do this. Okay. All right. Got that tacked just enough. And then after I'm done, then I will um, go through and stitch in the various places and uh, ink and distress and yeah. All right, so what do I have on this side? Oh yeah, let's do that one for this side. And let me ink.
gosh. Okay. okay. Yeah, there's so many things you can do with your your scraps right down to small ones. You can stamp on them. You can use them for like what I'm doing here. Um, all kinds of stuff. So you want to hang on to even the small ones. <coughs> Pardon me. So you see how I hang on to my scraps. <laughs> this is from a project from oh, a couple of years ago. <laughs> And all kinds of things in here from trimmings. Some of this is from here trimming and and I have bigger scraps too that I keep underneath this box. I mean more narrow ones but still um, yeah. <laughs> I still keep keep all of them here. Yeah. And so the big ones that I have aside here from trimming these pages down will go in there. <laughs> yep. I'm a keeper. <laughs> that sounded funny, wasn't it? Okay. Pack it just enough. Hmm. For some reason I got a frog in my throat. You won't leave me alone. Okay, here and here. All right, that's kind of cool. The colorings go together. I think it's all from the same pad. So that works. Okay, now what else do we got going on in here? Uh, I will be inking. And there's another one there. So I'm thinking <clears throat> I will turn this around. So I have one here and a page here toward the end of toward the back of that signature. Okay. And let's see what we got going on here. Anything yet? Probably not. Oh, there's one. Okay. And do I have another one? No. Okay. So I will do a page here. <clears throat> and I got some really neat ones. Beautiful paper. hard to tell <laughs> how the writing is. It's all backwards. How funny. Okay, well, um, then I'm going to go ahead and do this then. All right. Like I said, I'm going to do a couple uh, pages, hopefully with some tickets on it, some digital tickets as a decoration and stitch them. That's the plan anyway. I just didn't want to put a whole lot <coughs> of decoration in here because whoever gets the journal, I want them to be able to um, do their own in here, make it their own. You know, I just want to provide a place to have them do that, is basically the idea anyway. I'm going to go ahead and cut that first because it's just too hard otherwise. Okay. And I'm just using art glitter glue. And the other side here, I do have this neat paper here. Very vintage. Very, very vintage paper. Okay. 
here. Go ahead and cut that right there. Okay. Alrighty. Let's do ink it up. Oops. Okay. There we are. Let's not drop it now. <clears throat> All right, and let's do that. Okay. Now I would like to let's get these put away. I didn't want to put a whole lot of stuff in there. Like I said, I just wanted to add a little something something there okay um on the edges I had some tickets kind of picked out here some digitals these are my digital train tickets and I think I linked those below in the other video and I've just been keeping them there. And what I would like to do is on one of these pages, like right here would be a good one. Um, these need holes done in them. Uh, trying to pick some that I don't have to do a whole lot to. Punching holes and this and that. Okay. So what I want to do is ink them up and then glue them accordingly like this. Like this. And I don't want them to stick out a whole long ways. So I think I'll start like this and then just kind of go back and forth on down the line. So let me ink some up. We'll do that just to show you what I'll be doing to a couple other pages and then I will let you guys go. I just wanted to share what I was working on. I don't want to bore you guys with it. And then when I do the flip through, you will see everything. Here. I love these digital tickets. They're awesome. And I love digitals anyway. I was Kind of when I was first introduced to digitals, I was like, what? I don't know if I want to have those or not. <laughs> this has been quite a while back. And I got so hooked on them that now I have tons of various kinds. And that's putting it mildly. I have many creators that I have uh, gotten them from for various uh, various things and yeah and then there's some creators that I go back to over and over again there's some that are just like one off and yeah okay now hopefully these will be enough so I'm going to I'm just going to leave this all together so that I know where my limits are. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'll be stitching on these too. I'll be doing a zigzag stitch as soon as I get my glue going. <laughs> and 
and uh, I'll be doing that on the other edgings too. So I just want enough glue to hold it down until I get it stitched. Okay, yeah, I was going to do it this way. I didn't want to poke it up too far out this way or that way. But I thought it would be kind of cute to put some of these tickets on here. Okay. Or something different. And then with the stitching, it'll look really cute, I think. Okay, and then uh, it's this one. Yeah, I think so. Whoop. Hopefully, okay. There we go. Oh, too early, I guess. <laughs> All right, there we go. Yeah, so that's the kind of edging that I wanted to do. And then I'll zigzag right down. And yeah, I need to... Let's see. I wonder if I can just go ahead and put some on this side too. Kind of follow where the others are. Yes. And that way I'll have it zigzagged. For both sides and I won't have them showing their white stuff Let's do it that way okay I'll have to pick some more out and ink them up and these are all pretty well the same size so that helps and And ink that one. Okay. Oh, my sleeves. Oh, driving me crazy. Okay. That's upside down. I don't want the number upside down. There. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And whatever little bit is showing on the other side, I will um, ink it. Let's see. Let's go with that one again. Okay. I'm trying to put a lot into this journal to make it really special. So hopefully that's what will happen. Um let's see. Yeah, I think I'll ink that up. I'm not going to worry about the holes in it. Let me just ink it and be done with it. Okay. And this, just like this. Get it up right side up there instead of upside down. Okay, here and here. All right. There we go. Okay. Okay, so on this side, this end of the paper, we have the tickets. On the other side, we have this. So, um, yeah, it'll go like this. And like that. So you have that, and then you have 
the other end over here. Yeah, so it's like one in front of the signature, one in back. Yeah, I like that. And I will do that same thing on this other signature. I think I'll put it right here. Yeah, because that one has the other. Okay, I'll do the same on this one. Only I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. I just wanted to bring you along for a little bit and just show you what I've been up to and what I'm using. And um, I know I linked the uh, digitals before, and I'll make sure that I have those linked again for this um, train project. And yeah, so hopefully you guys have a wonderful day and uh, keep creating. <laughs> and I will see you guys on Tuesday. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.